Hey, this is Presh Talwalker. We have a number, 0 0.0700070000007, and so on. The decimal number shown has an increasing number of zeros followed by a seven. First, there's one zero and then a seven. Then there's two zeros and then a seven. Then there's three zeros and then a seven. Then there are four zeros and then a seven and so on. What is the 1,000th digit after the decimal point? I thank Rahul for the suggestion. Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try. And when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. So let's analyze the position of the sevens in the decimal. Let's say we have n representing the number of seven that's appearing, and then a n is the position of it. So the first seven appears in the spot number two. The second appearance of seven is in spot number five. Then the third appearance of seven, if we count carefully, will be in spot number nine. The fourth appearance of seven will be in spot number 14. So we have a pattern here, and we want to figure out what a n is equal to. But we first have a recurrence relationship. a2 is equal to a1 plus 3. a3 is equal to a2 plus 4. a4 is equal to a3 plus 5. Each time, we're adding one more than the previous. So let's work out the general case. We have a2 is equal to a1 plus 3, which we can rewrite as a1 plus 2 plus 1. a3 is equal to a2 plus 4, which we can rewrite as a2 plus 3 plus 1. Then a4 is equal to a3 plus 5, which we can rewrite as a3 plus 4 plus 1. So continuing this pattern, a n is equal to a n minus 1 plus n plus 1. So let's analyze this formula. We have a n is equal to a n minus 1, plus n plus 1, which we can apply the formula using a n minus 1. So a n minus 1 is equal to a n minus 2 plus n. We can substitute this into the formula so that a n is equal to a n minus 2 plus n plus n plus 1. But why stop there? We can apply the formula to a n minus 2. a n minus 2 is equal to a n minus 3 plus n minus 1. So then a n is equal to a n minus 3 plus n minus 1 plus n plus n plus 1. We can continue this formula all the way until a 1, which is equal to 2. So a n is equal to 2 plus 3 plus so on, all the way up to n plus 1. And now we can use a famous formula. We know that the sum of the numbers from 1 to n is equal to n multiplied by n plus 1 all over 2. We need the sum to go up to n plus 1, so we'll increase this. Then we need to subtract 1 because we're starting at 2. So a n is equal to n plus 1 multiplied by n plus 2 all over 2 minus 1. Now this is the position of the 7s in the decimal expansion. So we just need to figure out if this is equal to 1000 for an integer value of n. So we set this equation to n plus 1 multiplied by n plus 2 all over 2 is equal to 1001. We multiply both sides by 2. So now we have n plus 1 multiplied by n plus 2 is equal to 2002. This means we have approximately n plus 1 squared is equal to 2002. We take the square root of both sides. So n plus 1 is approximately equal to 44.7. So let's test out some values around this. So a43 is equal to 44 multiplied by 45 divided by 2 minus 1. That equals 989. Then a44 is equal to 45 multiplied by 46 divided by 2 minus 1. And that's equal to 1034. So we see that the 1,000th digit is not equal to 7. And that means the 1,000th digit is equal to 0. And that's the answer. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems one video at a time.